Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's me JT and welcome back to my channel. And yes, you're watching the ukulele tutorial video. Pero bago ito magsimula, gusto ko lang talaga magpasalamat sa inyong lahat. Kasi 200k subscribers na tayo! Yay! Hey, Silver Play! Yes! First and foremost, hindi ko talaga inisahan na aabot tayo sa ganito karaming subscribers. Imagine 200,000, di ba? Sobrang dami na nun. Nung una talaga, in-expect ko lang na, ay, Hindi talaga, hindi, 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 <laughs> hindi naman talaga yung expect Pero sana, Lord, abot tayo ng 100k, sapat na yun. Pero tinagtagan pa ni Lord ng 100,000. And, teka lang. Nakapanibago kasi hindi naman talaga ako gumagawa ng intro na ganito. Pero, ayun, sobrang overwhelmed lang. <gasps> so, ayun nga. <laughs> so, baka naman sabihin yun, ano ba naman yun si JT? Ang tagal magsimula, ayun ko lalo tutorial na yung pinakot dito. Eh, ano ba yung ginagawa niya? Ba't ang dami yung dalda? Uh, <laughs> sobrang na overwhelm na talaga ako guys kasi as I was reading the comment section I just realized na sobrang dami ko palang tao na na-inspire through music through playing the ukulele, through singing through doing covers and all those stuff and I didn't expect that to happen guys sana patuloy pa rin kayong supporta sa channel ko patuloy kayong manood patuloy kayong mag-comment, mag-like <laughs> so yun nga guys without further ado, grab your ukulele So, bago tayo magsimula, I'm just going to teach you the basics and how to read tabs kasi kailangan natin na magbasa ng tabs for this tutorial since this one is a finger style tutorial. But if you already know how to, then you can skip to this part. So, yung makikita natin sa tabs ay puro numbers and lines. And yung lines represents the strings of our ukulele. So, meron tayong apat na lines sa ating ukulele tabs and we also have four strings sa ating instrument. So take note that this one, which is the string that is facing your face, this one is the G string, followed by C, E, and A. Okay? Pero, even if na uh, parang andito sa baba si A, this one is otherwise known as the first string. So again, this is the first string, second string, third string, and fourth string. So si G is 4, C is 3, E is 2, and A is 1. Pero patitignan natin yung tabs, baliktad yung itsura niya guys. Kasi yung pinakababa na line, that is the G string, C, E, and A. So yung nasa top portion ng ating tabs, that is the A string. So baliktad yung itsura niya. Baka maguluhan kasi kayo. So ayun. So parang, ang tawag dun, yung parang mirror yung forma ng tabs kaysa dito sa ating instrument. So, kung yung line ng ating ukulele tabs ay nagre-represent sa ating uh, ukulele strings, then those numbers na makikita mo sa ating ukulele tabs represents the fret kung saan mo siya itutugtog. So, again, ito yung mga fret natin. Ayan. This is first fret, second fret, third fret, and so on. So, nakasaparate sila nitong mga lines. So, uh, if ever na makakakita ka din ng zero dyan sa ating tabs, meaning that's an open string. Meaning, you're just going to pluck the string as it is without putting any finger on the fretboard. So, yung first numbers na makikita mo dyan sa ating tabs is 0003. So, that is uh, also known as the C chord. So, open, 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 and we also have 3. Meaning, we're going to put a finger here on the third fret of our ukulele. So, isa strum natin siya. And that is 0003 or also known as the C chord. Now, the next number na makikita natin dyan is 2. So, meaning, 2nd fret, A string. And then, next number is an open string still on the A string. So, meaning, release. So, 3, 2, and open. Okay? So, that is how we read tabs. So, for the first part of the song, we're just going to do this. So again, yung first uh, notation na makikita natin dyan is an open, 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 and three. So you just have to strum downward and then move your finger here to the second fret, two, and then pluck, 
and then open tapos 3 lipat sa E string and then open E string and then balik ka sa C okay so again it should sound like this ayan so next part we have open 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 and 2 okay and then open tapos 3 Open, open sa C, and 2. So, it should sound like this. Ayan. So, if we put it all together, it should sound like this. Now, next part, we have open, 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 or this is also known as the C6 or A minor 7 sa ukulele. So, we're just going to strum, walang ilalagay na kamay. So, open lahat, tapos 3, and then open, open sa C, dalawang open, and then 2. So, again. Ayan. And then next part, we have open, two, one, and open. So you will put your index finger here and your middle finger here and then open itong uh, A string at G string natin. So strum, tapos biglang two, one, open, three, and lipat itong kamay na to, kamay, yung daliri na to dito. Ayan. So let's play the entire tab sa first part ng ating kanta. Okay, so let's move on to the fifth measure or the next part of the song. So we have the notation of 5, 3, 5, 3, 2, open, 1, and 3. So, ilalagay lang natin yung uh, index finger natin dito sa E string sa 3rd fret. And then, put your middle finger and your 4th finger dito sa 5th fret. And take note guys, yung 1st fret marker natin dito, this uh, represents our 5th fret. So, para hindi na magulahan kung saan nga ba dito yung 5th fret, sa saan dito yung 7th fret, okay? So, the 1st fret marker, yung 1st na tuldok, or kung wala man lang tuldok dito guys, makikita nyo minsan dito sa gilid. Ayan, so yan yung fret markers natin. So the first dot or first fret marker, that is the fifth fret. So again, let's go back to this part. Three, five, and five. Ayan, isang bagsak. And then three, two, and then open, one, or the first uh, first fret dito sa E string. And then balik ka sa three. Okay? So it should sound like this. Ayan. Next part, we have 0, 2, 1, and 2, or this is also known as the G7 na chord. Okay, so open lang itong G string, and then 2, 1, and 2. Okay, yan siya guys. Okay, and then after that one, isang bagsak, and then open, 3, 1, 2, and 2. Okay, again. Yeah. So if we put it all together from measure 5, it should sound like this. Now let's move on to the next part. So uh, we have 0 or open, 2, 1 and open. So it looks like this. Okay, so 2 dito. And then 1 dito. And then open lang sa G and A string. Okay? So, isang down strum. And then 3 and 1 sa ating E string. And then move on to the next string which is C. 1, 2, and 2 sa A string. So, it should sound like this. Ayan. And then next part. Open, open lahat, that's an A minor 7 or C6, and open, 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 open. So, open sa C, and then open sa E, open sa G, open sa A, 
and open sa G. So, kung tutugtog natin yung second part ng ating song, it should sound like this. Now, next part, we have C. So, again, open, 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 and C, or 3. <laughs> and then we have 2, and then open, 3, open, 3. Okay? Ayan. And then we also have C. So, let's move on to the next part. So, we have C. And or open, 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 and three. And then let's move on to two or second fret. And then open a lid, three, sa E string. And then open a lid and balik sa three or sa C. Ayan. And next part, we have C major seven or also known as open, 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 and two. So isang down strum. And then open, three, open, tapos open sa C string, and two. So it should sound like this. Next part, we have open, open lahat, tapos three, open, 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 and three. And then we have two. Open, 1, and 3. So, that chord looks like this one. Okay? So, 2 dito. Yan, lalagay natin yung middle finger natin dyan. And then, open lang sa C string. While we're going to put our index finger here on the 1st fret. And yung 4th finger natin, ilalagay natin dito sa 3rd fret A string. Ayan. Okay? So, tutugtog natin from measure 9. Next part, we have 5, 5, 5. Dalawang basis natin yan uulitin. So again, this is our 5th fret. So we're just going to strum etong tatlong string, not including the G string, okay? So wala naman kasing open na nakalagay dyan. So 5, 5, 5 lang talaga. So 5, 5, and then after that 1, 3, and then... 5, 4, 5. So, para siyang G7, but we're going to start here from the 4th fret down to the 5th fret. So, uh, 5, 4, and 5. And 3. So, again. Ayan. Okay, and the next part, we have open, 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 and 5. Ayan. And then 5 ulit. And then 3. And 3 ulit, but we're going to transfer dito sa E string. Okay? Ayan. So, the next part, we have 2, 2, 2, 5. And then, we're going to do that twice. And then, 3. And then, balikan na naman sa 2, 2, 2, 5. So, uh, you have two options for this part. It's either going to bar the entire second fret and then put your fourth finger dito sa fifth fret. Ayan. Or you're going to put one, two, three and pinky finger dito. Okay? So, ganun pa rin yung tunog niya. So, if ganito yung gagawin mo, ayan, bar and then fourth finger. Tapos, three and then, balik na naman and three. Pero if ganito yung gagawin mo, ganun pa rin. Medyo mahirap to. Mas matagal ka makakabalik papuntang 3rd fret. And then next part, we have 5, 5, 5, 5. So 5 lahat. So you're going to bar the entire 5th fret. Ayan. And then pluck 5 sa G string. A string na 5. And then balik ulit sa G. So strum 5, 5, 5. And then next part, we have 7, 7, 7, 7. So, yung buong 7th fret, ibabar mo din. 
Gaya nung ginawa mo dito. So, again, 7th fret is the 2nd fret marker. Ayan, 7 and 7. 7 dito sa G string. And then, for the last part of the song, parang uulitin lang natin din yung first part ng kantang to. So, open, 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 and 3. Ayan. Ayan, so, open, plus 3, 2, open, 3, open, 3. And then C major 7, or open, 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 2. And then open, 3, open, open to C, and 2. And then we have 2, 1, and open. Okay? So open lang itong A string. And then if we're going to do a single down strum dito, hindi natin isasali itong G string. So ito lang talaga. 2, 1, open. Isang bagsak. And then balik ka sa 3. And then, balik ka na naman sa chord na yun, But you need to include the G string na. So, we have open to 1 and open. And then, open to 1 and 2. So, we're going to do a G7 uh, chord. Okay. So, from here. Up. Ayan. And, we have 0, 0, 0, 3. Ayan. And then for the outro, we have 4, I 5, 4, 5, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4, 5. So we're going to do this. That long down strum. And open, open, 3 and 7. Ayan. So ito yung magiging outro mo. So 4, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4, 5. That long basses. 1, 2, 3, and open, open, 3, and 7. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo siyang dagdagan para mas may style pa siya, so you can add this one. Ayan. So, E, and then E and C. So, you're going to add that part every first, uh, first, first tab sa kada measure. So, like, for example, open, 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 and three. Diba? If we're going to play yung tabs lang, ayan, plain lang siya. Pero kung dadagdagan mo siya, you're going to add in between sa open, 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 three, and two. So, sa gitna niyan, ilalagay mo tong ayan. Ayan. Tapos saka ka na mag 2. Ayan. Dang, 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 dang. And then, and then add. Ayan. Same. So, ito lang yung i-add mo. This one, and then this one. And then, down strum na naman. And then, add. Tapos, 3. Open, 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 2. Then. Thank you.